and Frontier Nursing School is now Frontier Nursing University. And here to tell us more about the name change and their programs that are being offered, we're pleased to welcome Dr. Susan Stone, the Frontier Nursing University President and Dean. Thank you so much for being with us today. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. Well, a big name change, and tell us what that's all about. Well, uh, as you probably know, or we've talked about this before, um, Frontier has changed uh, to offer both master's degrees and doctoral degrees in the last few years. So we actually offer a master's degree in nursing with specialties as nurse practitioners or nurse midwives, and also a doctor of nursing practice degree. And so we decided to change our name to better reflect the level of education that we are now offering. And Frontier has such a long history, and um, it's been interesting to follow kind of how the programs have evolved with the growing need and demands for the careers that so many of your students go into. That's exactly right. You know, we started here in Kentucky in 1939, and uh, Mary Breckenridge was the founder of our program, and we were the only nurse midwifery program in the country for a long time. Also, we started the first family nurse practitioner program in 1970. But as the demand for nurse practitioners and nurse midwives has grown, so has the school grown. And so currently we have 1,200 students and we represent every state in the United States, even though our campus is located here in Kentucky. The students mostly do their uh, curriculum over distance education. They do clinical practice in their own communities, but they all come here to Kentucky for orientation and for clinical skills management. Well, we keep hearing that even in this tough economy that the medical fields are the ones that are still hot and growing and in need. And what are some of the programs uh, um, or what students that may be interested in participating in your programs, how do they need to get started with that? Well, we actually have two entry options. So students must be a registered nurse to enter our program, but they can have an associate degree. We have a bridge program for students, for nurses who already have an associate's degree. And then the majority of our nurses come in with a bachelor's degree for the MSM program. For the doctor of nursing practice program, all of those students are already nurse practitioners or nurse midwives who are seeking to further their education. So. What you mentioned with them being able to be in their own communities, that's got to be a, a big advantage with uh, being able to be flexible where, wherever students are. That's exactly true. That is what our niche is, is to provide education to students who have families, maybe need to continue to work, need to stay in their own home community, but want to further their education and further their career. So it seems to work. Uh, we have 3,000 graduates now and uh, our nurse practitioners and nurse midwives are practicing all over the country and even all over the world. Well, certainly an impressive record and you see there at the bottom of your screen the email address for, or the um, website address rather, for Frontier Nursing University if you're interested in learning more about their programs. Thank you so much for being with us, Dr. Thank Stone. you. Thank you so much for having me. We will be right back with more news and weather after this.